Hi guys, this is Matthias, and this Battlefield 1 video is going to cover how to level up faster. This is a question that I've seen repeatedly, uh, not only on my own stream and YouTube channel, but also on Reddit. Now the first suggestion that I will give you is of course to play the objective. Capture points, defend points. I believe that Battlefield 1 rewards that kind of playstyle more than any of the previous Battle games. Also remember to play your class. As a medic for example, you want to drop as many medkits as possible to try to heal your teammates. You also want to revive as many players as possible, and whatever you have on 3 and 4, for PC players that is, using those gadgets for its intended purpose is going to be very rewarding. You also want to play in a functioning squad. Now this can be a little bit tricky because a lot of players do not have regular teammates that they can play with, and if you're one of them then you're gonna have to rely on people that you are put together with in-game. Now the thing about playing in a functioning squad is that not only is it going to help you to be more successful when it comes to capturing points and getting kills and some such, at least for most players, but uh, healing and reviving and resupplying your uh, squad mates is more valuable than regular teammates. For example, if you paid attention, I have revived a couple of guys uh, earlier in this video and when I did so, I got 50 points for it. Now those revives were on non-squad mates, however, if I would revive a squad mate, that will give me 100 points. And this kind of reflects the whole game. I'm not sure if everything is the double, but when it comes to healing, spotting, assist kills and everything like that, it is more valuable when it is related to a squad mate. You also do get points if a squad mate spawns in on you. Now one of the first things that you want to look for in order to check out whether or not you are in a good squad is whether or not your squad leader is giving squad orders. And by squad orders that means either attack or defend flags, because this will give you extra points as well. I am quite often squad leader actually, but uh, to be fair, many times I'm actually quite terrible at it. Some of it has to do with the fact that I'm streaming and some of it has to do with even though I'm a squad leader I might spawn an attack plane and stay up in the air for as long as I can and then I have a tendency to forget about squad orders as well. But if you end up with that kind of squad leader you can request a squad order and that way remind the squad leader to give orders. Now one of the most obvious thing of course in order to level up faster is to become better at the game. Improving your aim, your skill, and therefore getting more kills pretty much goes without saying. And therefore learning from people that already are good at the game is of course going to help you as well. And for that reason I would like to recommend you to check out a very good infantry player named Brecky. You will find the links to his YouTube channel and his stream in the comment section below. He's a very experienced battlefield player, he focuses on infantry, and he's one of those very good sources to learn from. Of course, when it comes to just getting kills, the easiest and most reliable way to do so is to use any of the tanks or the artillery truck, but this video is going to focus on infantry. And personally, I'm much more of a pilot than a tanker, but I will cover some vehicle gameplay in the future as well. Now, the assault class is uh, the class that I've been playing the most, and this is a class where everything in your loadout, including your gadgets, are about killing. But the specifics of the gadgets of the assault class is that they are designed to take out vehicles, and more specifically, tanks. Now, you can of course use them against any target, but it is going to be most rewarding if you can use them successfully against its intended purpose. Now that means that uh, unless you have a support player with you or that you know that you're going to be able to be resupplied, it might actually be worth saving up some of those gadgets if you see that there is a tank or other vehicle nearby that you believe that you can take out. But the limited amount of anti-vehicle gadgets that this assault player has also points out the importance of a good squad team play and how important it is to have at least one support player with you in a squad. So yeah, as you can see with the points that I'm getting here, playing your role, or should I say playing your class, is very valuable. Now overall, in general, I believe that the medic class will help most players level up faster than the assault class. 
because you will most likely use your gadgets a bit more playing medic than assault. Now support is unfortunately a class that I haven't played all that much. What you see here is the first time ever that I get any kills using mortar. But also the support player will resupply his teammates with ammo. And just like with the medic class, it will be more valuable if you do so to squad mates. Now if your squad is, uh, for example, going to spawn a land ship, then of course the support player is going to be extra valuable because he can use his repair tool to repair any damage taken to any friendly vehicle. Same tool can of course also be used to damage enemy vehicles. So yet again, for a lot of players, the amount of how fast you level up is going to be dependent on how well you work together as a team. I killed the mortar guy. Oh, sniper. There you go, sniper, get a melee. <laughs> we have the ammunition. I need help. They're just see me. Uh, wait, wait. Come back. Okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. No, I'm alive. I just need uh, yeah, healing. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So now, unfortunately, I have no scout gameplay to show you, and that is because basically the only sniper gameplay that I have is when I have killed a player and I prefer to pick up his kit because I am either out of ammo or because I have bailed out as a pilot and I really don't like the weapons that the pilot class has by default. But what I can say about the scout class is that you should use your uh, flare gun, I think it is, because that one spots enemies for your entire team. And it gives you points if any of them gets killed by a teammate of yours. And this is something you can take advantage of, especially if there is a good pilot or a good tank driver in your nearby vicinity. And you have an idea of where there is a lot of players. You can spot them for him when he is in a position to start engaging. Now another way for you to gain more experience points is to go for medals. Now there are a whole bunch of different medals that you can go for. And uh, the way you earn them are by getting a certain amount of kills with certain weapon types or by using any of the gadgets of any of the classes. And if you want to learn more about the specifics, there will be a link in the description where you can see the requirements for earning certain medals. Now for me, this is something that I just started with, so I don't know it all that much, but I do have some mixed opinions about it. Now on the positive side, it will encourage you and uh, inspire you to try out something that you normally wouldn't do. Like in this case, for example, the only reason why I'm actually playing support here is for the sake of trying to get one of these medals. Now on the negative side, I think that in some cases, it makes you more of a solo player than a team player. And since I'm not all that good at playing support, I would probably help my team better playing another class. So yeah, basically what you need to do is you have to activate this once you load into a server. Now you choose one of these medals and you try to finish the three requirements for each medal one at a time and they have to be performed in certain orders. As you can see for example Order of Icarus, once you have damaged 10 wings you can go on to the next one which is get 20 kills using any airplane. Now during the time that the server is loading you can switch between any of these five medals because I mean obviously it doesn't make any sense trying to finish the missions for the Icarus medal if you're playing on a map that has no planes. So now my final tip, and I think this is by far the most important one, is this. Play the game in a way that is fun for you. Stars and achievements are not important to me, and unless you value it, don't make it into a bigger deal than it really is. Now this video is going to continue for a few more minutes, and I hope you have enjoyed it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. I get this guy. What? More guys, more guys from A. From yeah. A. Take cover. I'm out of ammo. I need to Need to deal with this tank, maybe. Uh, two guys outside. Yeah. Oh, uh, one is outside the big rock. I can get out camping near the house. Level two. We have taken objective Freddy. Need ammo. Uh, 
I'm, I'm next to a support here, he doesn't drop. Hey, come on, buddy, John. Where are you? Oh, here. Oh, yeah, nice, nice, thanks. Oh. 